Okay, so now we're going to take our beautiful cumulative results and we're going to take those kind of one-dimensional results and we're going to create them into a two-dimensional histogram of, of results, which is much easier to see. So we'll start by highlighting that cumulative column. Don't, uh, don't include the 1151. You don't want that sum total to be in there. Uh, go up to Insert. Go over to Column. We're left-clicking each of these. 2D Column. And you end up with this beautiful little graph right here, which predictably looks kind of like, a, like a, uh, a binomial distribution. How about that? <laughs> now at this point, I mean, technically you're done. You've got your histogram and all as well, but I don't think it's anywhere near as, as appealing as it could be or as, as informative as it could be. For example, this horizontal axis down here is nowhere near uh, the correct values. It should be zero through, six, uh, zero through five. So I'm going to um, left click on the chart proper, right click on the chart proper, and then go to select data. And the one that's off is the horizontal axis label. I'm going to edit that, left click. When it asks for an axis label range, you can either type or highlight. I'm going to highlight 0 through 5. Hit OK. Hit OK again. And now we've got the correct number of, of uh, events, the correct, excuse me, the correct events down there. All right, so now we're good. And, and now technically we are correct as far as what we're representing. And you can hold down the F9 key, and what you'll see is that beautiful little histogram will change as your data changes. And it'll auto-adjust, which is actually a nice feature that Excel has. It'll actually make the, make the bars, t uh, uh, make the uh, y-axis taller as it needs to be taller. Now there is definitely some adjustment that I would make um, in this graph. For example, this legend over here, I would get rid of that. So left click on it, backspace, that goes away. I don't like this title. I mean, it's fine for the, the graph or the, uh, the distribution over here, but I would want to be a little more descriptive about what we're looking at. Oops. So I'm going to double click in there and type uh, number of red cards. Uh, how about N equals five? That's a, that's a decent title. Or you can give it any title you want. You know, number of red cards per. Uh, you could put uh, Y equals number of red. I mean, have it have it labeled any way you want to, really. Um, additionally, I like to change the bars to match the color thematically. So I'm going to click on the bars this time. Right click on that and go to Format Data Series. Now there's a bunch of different options you have in here. So we'll start with the fill. The fill, I'll change it to solid and I'll change the color to red. It was automatically set to that. So I'm going to set that to red. While we're at it, I'm going to change the border to a solid line and we'll make that color kind of match the red. We can make it off a little tiny bit if you want to give it a little bit of a uh, little bit of contrast. You can also go to border styles and make the width thicker. That's kind of nice. That gives it a nice nice bit of contrast. Now, if you go back to series options at the very beginning, and there's all kinds of other stuff you can do down here. Make it 3D. I would kind of avoid that for the most part. Um, but, you know, up to you. Do whatever you want to do. Series options. One thing you can do is take the gap width all the way down to no gap. That way your histogram is actually, uh, there's, there's, a, there's a smooth continuum. It's not that big of a deal with discrete data like this, but... Some people are picky about that, so by all means. Sorry about that, the dryer just turned off. <laughs> so now, you've got a very nice histogram. You know, there's one more thing that might be helpful. Right click again, and go to Add Data Labels. Now you'll actually get a numerical representation of what's going on in your cumulative column. So let's go up to Home. I'm gonna make that bold and a little bit bigger. Let's make that, oh, that's nice. 16's good. And you can do that same font adjustment with anything. Uh, you left click wherever you want to change the font, and you can adjust font sizes. Say 12. You can do down here, change this to 12. Uh, if you want to uh, label the axes, click on the chart once, and then it's up here in Chart Tools Layout. And now you've got axis titles. So we'll do, the, we'll do the, uh, the primary vertical axis title. And I think I will add a title on this one. I think I'll add it as a horizontal. And I'll put cumulative frequency. There we go. 
And if you want, you can mess with the size of that as well. Let's make that a little bit bigger, maybe an 18. Eh. And then I can drag, and, and you'll get really good at this. As you get comfortable, you'll, you'll mess with formatting and you'll, you'll drag the, the, uh, the, the, the uh, access titles where you want them to be. You'll mess with the numberings, you'll mess with placements, and you'll get, like I said, you'll get, you'll get much, much, much better. So, so that's the beginnings there. What we'll do last but not least is we'll clean up the distribution. We'll reset it back to zero so you can start this each time. All right, make sure you save.